we could uh, ask the shot to start us off and welcome in us in with their welcome song. and behind them, the Who Pitches It First Nation. Oh, 
Good evening, everyone. Uklama Cynthia Dick, Tisha Aksop, Om Iksaka Eileen Watts, Note Weeksaka Richard Dick Sr. Ish Carl Bob. I'd just like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone on behalf of the Tishop First Nation and the Tishop First Nation Chief and Council to our traditional territory. Every year I look forward to the Clue Pitch Games. I had the opportunity to work for the Clue Pitch Games a number of years ago and the amount of work that goes into making this a successful event for all new Chalna is, is amazing and I, it's it's great to have all the, the new Chalmers come together and it really, it really brings pride to my heart to be here today, so thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. Next we have Steve Tatouche, Chief Counselor for Who Punches It? Uh, hi everybody. Uh, just on behalf of the Hoopachessa Nation, uh, we'd also like to open up our territory to all the nations that are here in the valley visiting. Uh, my name's Steve Tatouche. I'm the elected chief counselor for the Hoopachessett. And uh, I just love to see our kids uh, participate every year. It's not like the 80s uh, when I first started in the Channel Games when I was, I guess, four or five years old at ADSS. And uh, it was quite a big event, but it's nice to see that it's getting half the size that it used to be when I was a kid and trust me I remember those mullets you guys all had the older people up there and the high socks that came up to here those high socks yeah but again welcome to the territory and it's just glad happy to see all my friends and family Shoot. Thanks, Steve. Uh, thank you to Sishat and Hupajasit for always opening their doors, allowing us to have these events here. Next, we have the President of the New Channel Tribal Council, Deb Foxcroft. Good afternoon. Welcome to everyone. I just wanted to acknowledge our elders, Hotwith, elected chief and council, and especially all the children and the families that are here today. Just really makes my heart um, big and strong to see uh, everybody here. Just honored to be here. I just want to acknowledge uh, Sishot and Obechisit for uh, having us here in their territory. And I just wanted to say uh, I'm just so honored and proud to be here. And I just wanted to give the all of the children and the youth that are going to be uh, that have been running and are going to be involved uh, in the games and all of the adults a big hand. So let's do that right now. So I just wanted to say, uh, best of luck. Uh, there's no winners, there's no there's there, and no losers. I mean, I think that uh, we're all here to have uh, have fun. So that's what I'm going to say. Have fun, Kleko, Kleko. Thank you, Deb. Next we have Lori Jensen from Cermak, who is one of our gold sponsors of the games. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the uh, Shishat and the Hepacid for that warm welcome. It's lovely to see everyone here today. As he said, my name is Laurie Jensen. I'm with CERMAC Canada. Um, I'm the Communications and Sustainability Director. And I'd really like to welcome everyone here today. I'd like to thank the Nuchalnath Council and the Tulpich Games organizers for inviting me here. And I'd like to uh, appreciate the opportunity to be a platinum sponsor this year. This is our seventh year sponsoring the Tulsa Games, and we're really uh, pleased to see the turnout. Um, CERMAC believes that sports and recreation activities are very important for the families to provide unity, partnership, teamwork, and for uh, healthy lifestyles. And we're really pleased that we could be able to sponsor. We'd like to wish everybody great games, and uh, nice to see you all. Thank you. Once again, I'd just like to acknowledge all of our sponsors that make these games uh, happen every year. Uh, CERMAC is one of them, but we also have other companies and organizations that contribute thousands to this event. And uh, Richard will be talking about that later on. So once again, thank you to Lori and CERMAC. Next we have Richard Lucas to talk about the history of the games. Richard. Okay, uh, <clears throat> thank you, Ken. 
And thank you to Pitchison and Chishat for the warm welcome and always uh, allowing us to be in your territory to do these games here. And thank you to Steve Tatouche for reminding us of the first games, 1982. He says he was just a young fella there. I think we were all quite young. And we all wore the high socks and on and on, so. <clears throat> but uh, the other day we had a meeting on the volunteers and I was asked to volunteer, so it's always a pleasure to help our people to get through the games. But in 1981, Wally explained how we used to go down to Victoria for the Olympiad to do all the same things. And we found out that 90% of the people going down were Nuchals. And so it's come, become a recommendation that we should have our own games because uh, Victoria Olympiad was dying out. So as a result, we had a group of people here and a lot of the people that started aren't here anymore. Late Ed Shewish, late Stan Chester, uh, and uh, Eugene, late Eugene Tucci and a few others. They were the original committee. And we met every month all year long planning. And uh, we had a committee we, we went to a lot of the communities. We were even up in Kiyukut. I believe that's why it was successful, because we went to the communities and invited them, said, we'd like you to come to the games. I, I can't remember if we didn't make any community, but we were in the communities. <coughs> uh, we had a lot of competition. And from these games, a lot of our athletes moved to higher up, like the BCs, the Canada Games, and then eventually Indigenous Games. So that's what this uh, games have done for our people. And, and we have a lot of great athletes, and we should be proud of that. We were witnessing it today, just a few races we've seen. But. Uh, <clears throat> It was a lot of work for our committee, especially myself. We just didn't do it. I, I was uh, uh, harassing the track and field clubs when they had theirs. How do you do this? How many do you need? I went to the swim, and I, I was the same way. I was getting papers off them. <clears throat> and uh, we used to fill the swimming pool up. And uh, softball, I don't know how many, I think we used to have about 60 kids, 10 and under, up to 16 and under. That's how many teams we used to have. I think we had 65 one year. And uh, very unfortunate, we've lost that. And uh, we even had lacrosse. A guy put lacrosse on for us, and I, I guess it didn't pick up. We had canoe races. And... Uh, and that just went for a couple of years. We had soccer where we invited. And also we had people from the U.S. They come every year. And then we had friends from uh, Squamish area. They brought over their stopwatches. And they were all synchronized. So that's how advanced we were in, in doing that. And we had regular sheets for our keepers to keep there and so we could have the stats. So it was quite complicated, but that's what where we were back in the 80s, 90s. And uh, it was a joy to, to serve the people. And I, I want to thank you guys. Uh, Wally was says, mentioning the other day, he said, I think he put five or six years in. I, I ran the games for 13 years, plus I ran it one more year after, so. 14 years uh, and I volunteer at the games every year so it's a little bit of history and I want to thank you guys for everyone that comes out and volunteers I know in the old days I think there was about three four days that I never got any sleep because I'd go to La Hal and uh, the elders 
they didn't come here to watch track and field all day long. They come here to play La Hal. And they always looked forward to that. So we got to create events where it's for certain people. And that's what I see here today. And I'm glad to see quite a few tribes here that, uh, you know, you chuck the said Tlaokwit. Tlaokwit is having their Tlaokwit days, but I see some representatives from Tlaokwit. So to everybody, thank you for coming out. And uh, to Richard, thank you for asking me to say a few words. Thank you.